So this is Flight By. This is uh, a fairly straightforward project made up of a Raspberry Pi 0W connected to an Arduino Nano, which is then running in turn a set of three different lots of Adafruit near pixels and uh, an LCD screen as well. So running on the Pi is a piece of Python code which is connecting up to a different Raspberry Pi which has a uh, radio, software defined radio running which is listening for um, mode S signals from any planes that are flying overhead. Uh, when it receives details of the flights, as you can see the ones up here that have been displayed before, uh, the information will be shown on this screen so you know what is flying over the top of your house. So we can see here that the details for uh, something has just appeared. So the information shown on this uh, LED ring here is giving the indication of where it's, which direction it's flying. So it's flying towards the northeast. These top ones uh, they change colour depending on the livery of the aircraft. So this is an EasyJet flight. So it's lit up in orange. And uh, on the left here, it's giving an indication of how high the flight is. So each uh, each one of these uh, LEDs corresponds to 500 feet, uh, so you'll see it's climbing through uh, seven and a half, just about to reach seven and a half thousand feet now. So you'll see another one light up, and then on this centre display, it gives uh, the call sign of the ATC call sign of the aircraft, then the flight level or altitude it's at, the speed it's flying, the squawk code, and uh, it will also try and look up the uh, type of aircraft as well, and uh, if that's available then that would appear on that third line there. So what gets shown really depends on uh, the quality of the radio receiver you've got. Mine is just a TV aerial, so it doesn't get aircraft very far from where I am in terms of lateral distance, but as you can see it's picking things up up to 36,000 feet, uh, which is quite a way away. So this is the web page output of Dump 1090, which is running on a separate Raspberry Pi connected up to uh, the software defined radio, which is then connected to my TV aerial. Uh, so we can see some of the flights it's picking up there. Uh, because it doesn't have full details on those, they won't be shown on the display uh, when they turn green, like that's British Airways. Uh, the display will light up and start showing the details and you can see the code, the code scrolling away there as it gets uh, refreshed every second with the different parameters and if we flip over to flight radar here you'll be able to see that one going uh, near and if you listen very carefully you might even be able to hear it flying over as well So the code will choose whichever aircraft is most pertinent to display at that time. So uh, we'll probably see it swap here and change on to yeah, a light aircraft that's flying around nearby. Um, it will choose whatever's lowest and only aircraft that it has the full information on. So the full call sign, altitude, uh, otherwise it will stay blank. And when that information is expired, when it's more than 30 seconds old, then uh, it will shut the display off again. So the entire project is contained within the IKEA picture frame, just one of the square frames. Now these are good because they're quite deep, so uh, there's a lot of depth there that allows you to put screws through the backing, as I've done here. You can see the screws on the back there. Uh, they've just run through and then mounted all the separate components to that. Now I just have this set up on a shelf in my front room, I've got my laptop next to it just for debugging and for making this video uh, but it just sits there it's connected over Wi-Fi and we'll just uh, grab the details and show them whenever something flies over